Hey guys, welcome to our channel, Chill on You Too. The rocket launch is the only current way to reach space. And no, I'm not talking about Elton John. Launching rockets into space can be a risky business, with fine lines between success and the ultimate failure, death. Close quarters, vehicles faster than the speed of sound, zero gravity, and extremely volatile rockets again. Spaceflight is a tough business. In the 52 years since the beginning of American efforts to reach space, more than 160 launches, including that of the orbiting carbon observatory in February 24, have failed. So guys, let's check out without further ado the eight examples from recent history that reminds us of how tough this business can be and how we can learn from our mistakes. In T minus five, four, three, two, one. Number eight, NASA Antares. On October 28, 2014, Orbital's Antares rocket had been slated to bring food, water, and supplies for the crew of the International Space Station. The launch was part of NASA's commercial resupply program, which takes commercial companies with periodically resupplying the station. But just 15 seconds after liftoff from NASA's Wallops Flight Facility in Virginia, the rocket blew up in a fiery nighttime display. After looking into the failure, NASA believes that an explosion occurred in the turbo pumps or the spaghetti-like tubes, on one of the two main AJ-26 engines used on the Antares. Somehow, pieces of the turbo pumps rubbed together and ignited, causing the engines to lose thrust and the rocket to fall back to Earth. However, the report fails to pin down what caused the turbo pumps to rub together. NASA also argues there are two other equally likely causes for the failure. One could be the design of the AJ-26 engine wasn't, quote, robust enough, and the way the turbo pumps are built made them susceptible to fires. Another option is that the foreign debris caused the accident. Weird titanium and silica objects were found in the engine at the crash site, but there was no way to confirm if these objects caused the explosion. Number 7. SpaceX Falcon 9 For the first time since SpaceX began recovering its Falcon 9 fleet, the company failed to land one of its rockets that were meant to touch down on solid ground. Just seven minutes after launching from Florida, SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket was preparing to land on the company's concrete landing pad back near the launch site at Cape Canaveral. But footage from the booster showed it spinning out of control and SpaceX commentators confirmed that the vehicle hit the Atlantic Ocean instead. SpaceX CEO Elon Musk blamed the failure on one of the Falcon 9's grid fins, which are used to steer the booster to its intended landing target. Musk says it's possible that SpaceX may be able to recover the vehicle, though arguing it's been damaged and it's still communicating information from the water. He notes that it could be used, quote, internal SpaceX mission, perhaps for an oncoming launch of one of SpaceX's Starlink internet satellites. Number six, Space Shuttle Challenger Disaster. The Space Shuttle Challenger disaster that occurred on January 28, 1986, marked one of the most devastating days in the history of space exploration. Just over a minute after the space shuttle lifted off, a malfunction in the spacecraft's O-rings, rubber seals that separated its rocket boosters, caused a fire to start that destabilized the boosters and spread up the rocket itself. The shuttle was moving faster than the speed of sound and quickly began to break apart. The disaster led to the death of all astronauts on board, including civilian teacher Krista McAuliffe a participant in NASA's Teacher in Space project who was to teach classes and perform experiments while in space. Rest in peace. The shuttle's launch was not widely televised, but the explosion and breakup of the shuttle were visible to spectators on the ground. The launch itself, performed at 26 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 3 degrees Celsius weather, was predicted to encounter issues by members of the engineering team who knew of the dangers posed to O-rings by such low temperatures. Despite vocalizing these concerns, the mission continued as planned because NASA was against delaying the shuttle's launch anymore as it had already been delayed multiple times. The disaster resulted in the temporary suspension of the space shuttle program and the creation of the Rogers Commission to determine the cause and fault of the disaster. Number 5. Ariane 5 On June 4, 1996, the maiden flight of the Ariane 5 launcher ended in a failure. Only about 40 seconds after initiation of the flight sequence, at an altitude of about 3,700 meters, the launcher veered off its flight path, broke up, and exploded. A chain of events, their interrelations, and causes have been established, starting with the destruction of the launcher and the tracing back in time towards the primary cause. These provide the technical explanations of the failure of the 501 flight. 
which lay in the flight control and guidance system. The failure of Ariane 501 was caused by the complete loss of guidance and altitude information 30 seconds after the start of the main engine ignition sequence, 30 seconds after liftoff. Their loss of information was due to specifications and design errors in the software of the internal reference system. The extensive reviews and tests carried out during the Ariane 5 development program did not include an adequate analysis of the and testing of the internal reference system or of the complete flight control system, which could have detected the potential failure. Number 4. Canapus ST On December 5, 2015, the Russian military learned a tough lesson in engineering for all contingencies. The Russian Aerospace Defense Forces launched the Canapus ST satellite. The rocket launch looked good until the second of the two sats tried to separate from the rocket, but it didn't. There were four clamps holding the satellite to the Volga upper stage, and only three were open. The remaining one kept the spacecraft held in place. Engineers were helpless. There was no plan for emergency separation. The developers of the technical documentation didn't make an emergency algorithm in the event that the charge-driven piston mechanism would not unlock. The satellite and upper stage circled the planet for days. Locked in a fatal embrace, they would eventually fall back into the atmosphere to burn during re-entry. Charred pieces fell into the Atlantic. After a failure like this, it's easy to point out what should have been done. Even TASS feels obliged to point out how handy a backup system would have been. But engineering spacecraft is all about weight, and keeping things clean and simple is often more reliable. Every backup system creates weight and complexity, and not every contingency can be planned for. Still, every launch is all about payload, and systems that ensure spacecraft deploy properly are worth their weight. But who am I to say? Let's move on. Number 3. Atlas and Tor Four workers were slightly injured and a space rocket was severely damaged when a work platform struck the booster stage on the launching pad and ruptured a fuel tank. The accident occurred as technicians were preparing to remove the Centaur upper stage of the Atlas and Tor rocket to fix a leaky oxygen tank. The NASA statement said the hydrogen tank was damaged extensively when the pressure inside was released. The tank, made of thin stainless steel, is pressurized at 5 pounds per square inch above normal outside pressure to maintain structural strength. NASA had no other details immediately on how the accident happened, nor was it known whether the Centaur stage, which is worth about 12 million, could be repaired. The 78 million Atlas Centaur originally was to have launched an 83 million military communications satellite on June 11th. The launch was delayed after another Atlas Centaur carrying an identical communications payload was struck by lightning and destroyed during a March 26 launch. Number 2. Proton M Russian Proton M rocket crashed and exploded just seconds after takeoff from the Baikonur Cosmodrome, a spaceport in Kazakhstan. There's been no official statement about what caused the failure. The rocket started to wobble almost immediately after the launch, losing stabilization. It pitched over, and the upper section of the rocket came off, most likely due to aerodynamic stress. That part was not designed to withstand a fierce sideways wind. Moments later, the entire rocket crashed to the ground and exploded. The rocket was carrying three navigation satellites called GLONASS, similar to GPS satellites. These were upgrades to the current operating fleet of satellites that have been in place for a few years now. Oh well, guess you'll have to try again, Russia. Number 1. Space Shuttle Columbia On January 16, 2003, Space Shuttle Columbia left Earth for its 28th mission. In its 15 days, 22 hours, 20 minutes, and 32 seconds of orbiting the Earth, the crew conducted 80 scientific experiments. On February 1, Columbia began its descent. But just 60 minutes from landing, it abruptly disintegrated. All seven astronauts on board died and the aircraft debris blew over eastern Texas. Searchers found human body parts along with pieces of the shuttle. NASA issued warnings to the public to not touch debris suspected to contain hazardous chemicals, but some Texans ignored their warnings and tried selling debris on eBay, prices starting as high as $10,000. Investigation revealed a piece of foam broke off during Columbia's launch and damaged the thermal protection system on its left wing. During re-entry, the damaged wing slowly overheated and came apart, leading to loss of control and disintegration of the shuttle. 
So that's the end of this video, top eight space launch failures caught on camera. Thanks for tuning in, but before you go, subscribe, like, and share this video. And don't forget, hit that bell icon to check out more interesting videos made just for you.